This video will show you how to add a retaining wall to your landscape design. It will cover how to design the size and shape of the wall. Another video will cover the terrain cutting options. To get started, click the Building tab, and then click Retaining Wall. Left-click to place points. Right-click to place the last point. To edit the cap material, Click this image and it will take you to a large selection of materials. Make your selection and then click OK. Here you can edit the type of cap, for example, bull nose, or you can choose to have no cap at all. Adjust the height and overhang with these sliders. Click this image to change the wall material. You can customize the elevation and width with these sliders. For a stepped wall, click here. You can manually adjust the height of each step. Left click on a point and enter the height you would like it to be. Do this for each point. Or if you would like the wall to be curved, uncheck the stepped option. Make sure Edit Points is selected, and you can edit the height at each point. Add or remove points as needed to get the desired shape. You can also adjust the curve in the vertical direction. Click the Bezier button, and then hold the Control key while dragging one of the tangents up or down. Using the Shape Options button can be really useful if you're looking to create a specific shape. For example, if you want to make a fire pit, click here, load shape, select the desired shape, and click OK. Shrink it down, then adjust the height, and now you have a fire pit. Here is an example of a retaining wall used in a landscape. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out ideaspectrum.com for more information about our software.